Salmon are a big part of our tribal culture and we've been seeing declines in fish populations. In the past, timber harvest removed trees that would have created habitat for young salmon to hide, feed, and grow. We know that we need to focus on our rivers, like the Warm Springs River, a nursery for wild spring chinook, summer steelhead, bull trout, and lamprey. We're finding out that we have a significant pre-spawn mortality issue. Sometimes we get a bunch of fish in the river and they die before they spawn. Last year was one of them. There's not a whole lot of deep pools up here in the cold water section of the river. Tribal staff are taking trees from the reservation with the roots attached and moving them down to the river to restore the habitat. The focus of this was the different types of habitat each type of log jam would create. Small fish, juvenile fish, really like to go to the margins of, of rivers and, and that's where they rear and, and live out their life, mainly in these rivers. And then the larger structures, which are more in the middle of the river, we're hoping to get pools out of, whether they're backed up pools or scour pools, and that really will increase adult holding habitat, which is a big, big issue here. The helicopter's important to this project because one, it allows us to have a really light footprint on the ground. There'd be no ground disturbance, no damage along the river banks that you'd see with, with heavy equipment. And, and another reason we use the helicopter is we can move whole trees. And then thirdly, this is a long project site. It's about four miles long or so. We're moving trees five, six miles from where the wood is. So we're, we're gonna be moving about 900 trees over this week with the helicopter. This will scour a deep pool. It'll also provide refuge for the juveniles when they're born. So it's mainly a spring chinook project. There'll be some additional benefits for steelhead that spawn right in here and bull trout that use the whole river system. The wood being placed in the river will provide cover for the young salmon and deeper pools for adults to hide. It is important to me as a tribal member to support projects that help our wild salmon populations grow.